once we have all these set up I'm going to start um, stitching these so if you um, ah damn it so just uh, press 2 and it'll select like the faces here so if I press 1 it'll select like it'll make me select the ver let me select the vertices and then 2 is for the um, for the aye, um, for the <laughs> for the f uh, pff, not faces the edges I'm I'm forgetting everything here um, and then three for the faces but we want to work with two which is the um, <laughs> the 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 edges I keep forgetting that bloody uh, I can't why why do I keep forgetting that uh, edges why do I forget you right um, I'm gonna just like that here and you see this blue um, line there it means that this is connected it has is connected in a way so. I click, uh, I hold, I press my uh, hotkey for uh, stitch selected, which is Shift S, and then it, it actually connects them together. So if I, it's more like a puzzle. You're puzzling them, to, piecing them together, and um, I know it's a bit time-consuming, but it really, really, I mean, you'll get used to it after a while, um, and um, your 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 textures will really come out quite well. So now we've actually done that little nail there, and um, we'll leave that for a side now, and then let's do the post. Um, we'll select it and then we'll just uh, stitch them. Um, yeah, this thing is like sometimes the stitching. I just stitch them anyway, um, even though their UVs look a bit weird here. Well, they don't. They overlap a bit. You can always stitch it. And ah oh, no, this one is a bit weird. So what I want to do is I I'll, I'll use my faces one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control B, and if I press Control B, what that does is it breaks it off from that. Um, specific face, uh, that those faces, so you, if you select a single face, press control B, it will break it off, so that's uh, one, of, if you, that's why, um, it's one of the good ways if you feel like your, your things are overlapping, you can break it down even further, so that now I can actually, like, um, um, stitch them together without any hassle, and I'm just gonna try and clean this one up, alright, I like, um, Right, that's one. Let's see. Same uh, method. Uh, right, okay, I need to turn that off. I just need to find which one's the front face. Because we want to emphasize more on the front face because that's going to be the part where we're going to have a lot of our uh, main information. And um, Right, uh, we'll stitch the edges. Ah, I'm going to break these off and put them together. Ah. Okay. Um, oh, right. That's the problem there. I'm gonna have to um, reload 3ds Max. Sign. So my uh, 3ds Max crashed because I accidentally tried to use stitch selected on the white uh, edges, which I shouldn't because um, I don't know. Um, on 3ds Max uh, 2013, it has that issue and it is really annoying. So. I always try and avoid it. I've always um I had I've come across that error like a bunch of times and it is uh quite a nuisance. So I'm wonder I'm hope hope hoping that they actually fixed it in the uh, newer versions of uh Fugia Max, which I think I should probably Oh probably um have a go with. Right, so this part is a bit um now because we are um, as you can see here we got the um what do you call it? This thing coming out and um it overlaps if I if I um try and stitch from here. So I'm gonna try and stitch from this side. And uh whoop. okay, let's see. And we still have that other side there. And apparently that face is stuck on that. So we're gonna take this face, rip it out. You know what? I'm gonna rip all the faces out so that, you know, this back one is just left by itself. Because uh, the back is not important as the f as much as the front, and I'm just gonna do that and see what other faces this is associated with. Um, uh, nothing, just the back. Okay, so that one's done. Um, oh, we got a second one down here. So that's what that's the thing. Um, you gotta be be careful here. I need to try and um, lay this out like that so they don't overlap. Oh, do not let your UVs overlap. It'll it'll mess up your your textures later on once we go into sculpting especially um, oh, mm, that's the one thing I don't like about these uh, I don't tend to 
like doing a lot of these extrudes, but they do make the model nice in the end of the day. And um, it's just that you have to find a way to optimize. Uh, I think that works all right. So um, sort of like connects it downwards. And um, let's see. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot that one on the other side. Um, let's see. Okay, they're all connecting to that one. We're gonna connect, connect, connect. I may, you may think this is the most dullest part of it, and you're right. It is UV unwrapping is the dullest part of asset creation, but it has to be done. You know, it's a, it's like a dirty job. You know, somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> um, okay, so now once you got all your UVs uh, done. Um, what we're going to do is try and put in this box. This box is where the information or the texture is going to be. Under Arrange Elements, go to this called Pack Custom. So what that does, it packs it all together. And um, at the moment, you're thinking, I'm thinking um, that isn't good enough to be honest. Um, you want, you need to size your UVs according to how large they are in here. But I suppose Pack Custom does give you like a, a sort of a uh, uh, indication of how big they should be according to their size. Like, as you can see, the nail is actually in like you know a small size. But if we have enough space, we'll keep we'll increase the size of the UV. So um, obviously, this is the max length we can give this. So if we just um, try and uh, try and uh, make it wider a bit, so that we can get better information in those. Uh, better information on those uh, UVs. Um, try and use as much space as possible and uh, do not waste space that's what I can uh, and that's what I can advise never waste space on UVs uh, in, in the UVs because um, the more you know that little like sp that little extra um, space could give you a better um, resolution to your um, textures and better optimized so now we got that and we got this space here so you know why not we just make this a little bit bigger as well you know why not? We'll just make that bigger. So eh, it's like um, the nail gets a spotlight in the UV section. <laughs> so um, naturally, I would probably just take this. You can uh, render your UV so that you can use it as a. Um, you know what? We'll do it. Uh, go to tools, and then go to render UVW template, which is at the bottom. And what that do is it'll, it'll give you this uh, the setup here. Um, so keep everything in default. Um, this green part is going is this edge is one that under here uh, the this color here is going to show you um, your UVs in the green color. Uh, the edges are going to be in green and the you know the interior ones are going to be all uh, the white ones, just like you see here. And then this uh, fill here is um, pretty much uh, more does none for now. I don't want anything filled. I just want to see the edges of these and that's it. And this red one will show overlapping. If if there is any overlapping, it will be in red, but um, I turned it all off because I um, I know there's not going to be an overlapping. So I'll uh, just uh, render UV, uh, UV template and then it will give you like a render. So that's the preview. So what happens if we make this uh, mode I think I should press render UV. It gives you this, you know, but we don't want that, you know. We just want to find out how what the boundaries of the textures going how the boundaries of the textures are going to be like. So we turn it off, and you know, if you you can change the color if you want for this one. I'm I'm quite satisfied with green most of the time. So if I see if it's red, and I'll probably think it's uh, overlapping. So I'm gonna try and too many of these. I'll oh, double UV double temp it. I'll save image up there and um, just save it where you you can. Um, I'm gonna save and render output. Um, I always use this for my textures. Arc underscore sign and um, I'll just save it as a PNG uh, underscore UV. Right. Um, right. Okay. Now we have our model and we have the model unwrapped. Um, the next step we're going to do is um, get the normal maps and ambient occlusion and texturing done. So um, I'm going to cover that in the next video. So um, stay tuned for more.